Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do an energy check-in on the soulmates and the twin flames journey. Now Virgos, this is a general message, okay? So just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Now, Virgos, you do have to know your own story, okay? Not everybody is on a twin flame or a soulmate journey. But Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos? Let's do the soulmates first. What do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with a soulmate? Now, with soulmates, it also doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest, okay? What's the energy for the soulmates? Mm. Okay, so <laughs> for some other <laughs> nine of pentacles. Okay, so for some of our girls, your soulmate, I don't know if you're so I don't know if you have met them already, okay, but your soulmate may be walking away from an ex because that was release your ex. But give me one card for the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so the card coming out, it says love yourself first. And it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So maybe, yeah, we've got retreat at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe his soulmate had to go on and do some sort of, I don't know, work on themselves, right? With the love yourself first. Give me one more for the love yourself first. And we got very soon. Yeah, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So for some of my Virgos, your soulmate may even be single at this time, right? Yeah, bottom of the deck, you've got worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. They may be going through something with the forgiven and learning. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And then you have the children card, okay? So tell me more about the soulmate's journey. What do I want to use? Let's use this. No, I don't want to use this. <laughs> yeah, I want to use these. <laughs> All right. Tell me a bit more about this soulmates. Yeah, I just saw the nine of pentacles with the ace of swords and the sun card. Yeah, and the nine of swords. So they definitely could be recovering from something. What do we have for the soulmates? Thank you, Spirit. So, Nine of Pentacles, it came out anyway. So, again, you know, some of my Virgos, maybe you're single at this time here, okay? Some of my Virgos, if you are single, it's almost like you may be fed up of waiting for your person to come in. But show me more about this Nine of Pentacles. The Chariot came out almost sideways, which suggests to me some sort of blockage. Like I said, maybe you're fed up of waiting for some of you, okay? Show me more. We got cancer energy out here, <laughs> the two of wands. Now, if your soulmate is on their own, right, and maybe they're spending some sort of, like I said, um, maybe they're doing some sort of self-love or something like that. I feel like this is someone that still thinks about you with the two of wands energy. I feel like if this person even has like a phone in their hand. I feel like they may even think about communicating with you. There could be distance between you and this person. Someone here could be on some sort of vacation or... Um, hmm, it feels like... Um, it just feels like someone, yeah, the um, Five of Cups coming out in the reverse. It feels like someone here is trying to heal from something. It's almost like that energy of gathering your strength here. Almost like the Nine of Wands where someone here has been through something difficult, right? The wounded warrior here. So, you know, this person may be a little bit battered or bruised. Not physically, but it could be emotionally or mentally. But I feel like they're working through that here. This is somebody trying to come out of some sort of sadness, out of some sort of grieving or disappointment heartache, pain. 
What is the Nine of Pentacles energy? The Star card. I feel like for some other girls, you may give this person some sort of hope. Um, damn. I almost wanted to say, some of you, your soulmate may be recovering from some sort of spell work. What is a two of wands? The full card in the reverse. Hmm. What's the full the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck with the nine of swords and the strength card? The ten of swords again. You have a king of wands, queen of pentacles, ace of wands, eight of swords. Woo, okay. <laughs> This may be someone who may feel like, you know, they may be a little bit afraid that they may miss an opportunity here with you or that maybe you'll get into a situation with somebody else here, okay? But for some of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, right? Got strong Aquarius out here. And I'm also seeing Aries, okay, with the King of Wands and the Full card. Leo, Cancer with the Chariot. And it could be an air sign with the Ten of um, Swords and the Nine of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Again, heavy Aquarius. I'm now seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like this is someone who is... I feel like they're afraid. Okay? I feel like they are maybe a little bit intimidated by you for some of you. But they feel like something is too difficult or too, I don't know, that this is someone who may be having some sort of anxiety, nightmares, sleepless nights. This could also be someone who kind of walks around um, in an energy that maybe everything's okay, but it's really not. Now, if this is someone who betrayed you or stabbed you in the back somehow, that they it's almost like they're kicking themselves here. What is the fool in the reverse? The lovers. Show me more. The judgment. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini. And the Ten of Pentacles. They want your forgiveness for something. What is the Ten of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups. Show me more. And the Wheel of Fortune. They want something to turn in their favour here. For some of you, this may be someone who sees long term here with you. Now, again, this is soulmate. So the Ten of Pentacles, this could be this could be a family member, somebody that you've known for a very long time, right? It could be a very close friend. But it's almost like someone here is trying to make some sort of decision. But I just feel like they're lacking. I feel like this may be someone who, who may have lost lost hope or because the full card in the upright talks about taking a leap of faith, right? Let me see. Oh, look at that. It's at the bottom of the deck right there. In this deck, it talks about, yeah, someone needs to kind of take a risk and put fear behind them. Now, again, someone here may be feeling like they did something reckless in the past. What is the chariot? Show me more about the soulmates. So you've got the hermit turning over here, which is your energy. Yeah, so we've got the ten of pentacles energy out here again, but it's split. Because we've got the seven of pentacles and then we've got the three of pentacles. And in between it, we've got the moon and the sun. I don't know if this person is uh, um, afraid of something coming to light. Okay, the sun can talk about um exposure but again i don't know like i said if for some of you going back to that first energy where this may be someone who is taking some sort of time out here because they are recovering from something again it could have to do with children we saw the children card right this may be someone uh, that alarm may be confirmation this may be someone who is very much reflecting on maybe 
some sort of partnership or you know somebody else that they invested in here what is the moon five of pentacles in the reverse strength card what is the five of pentacles in the reverse the justice in the reverse See, something here, someone feels like there was some sort of injustice that was done to them. Let me just see what this Five of Pentacles in the reverse is. Now, in the upright, the Five of Pentacles does talk about somebody feeling left out in the cold here. So, hmm. Let me see. Five of Pentacles, where are you? Okay, now for some of you, you know, maybe this is someone who's been trying to work on their finances or maybe they have been using work as a distraction up for them. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm not going to dig too deep on that. What is the chariot and the hermit? This definitely could be someone who's thinking of coming out of hermit mode, right? Maybe this is, um, my cards in the upright, what is going on here? Let me just make sure these cards are all in the upright. All right, what is the hermit and the chariot? The devil in the reverse. What's the devil in the reverse? Seven of Pentacles again, and the sun card. I don't know if someone was in a toxic relationship or someone here is trying to put behind them some sort of toxic habits here, okay? Um, I'm also picking up something about a vehicle, especially with that alarm going off in the background. One more for the devil in the reverse and the seven of pentacles. The world card, yeah, someone here is completing something or shutting out some sort of cycle here. Capricorn energy coming up. Someone also could have had some sort of lustful ways. I wish they would sort that alarm out. <laughs> um, it's making me think of red flags. <laughs> but I feel like someone here is very much reflecting on some, I don't know, some sort of toxic ways they had. You know, the devil can represent codependence. It can represent addictions. Maybe someone here, you know, thought they were powerless in a situation and realizing that actually they're not. What is the five of cups in the reverse? All right, here we go with that light thing again. I don't know, every time I turn, it turns. What is the five of cups in the reverse? Thank you, Spirit. The nine of wands. Yeah, this is somebody finding the energy to push forward, to continue. To say, okay, yeah, maybe there is some things from my past that let me down or hurt me or put me in a certain position. But guess what? Do you know what? I still have that inner strength. I still have the courage. I still want to move forward. I still want to live my life. So I'm going to pull myself out of this energy. Nine of Wands. Yes, you can. It's that energy of do not give up. Hmm. I like it. What is this Nine of Wands? With the five of cups in the reverse for the soulmates Ooh. Mm. yeah this could be someone coming out of a relationship a marriage here this could have something to do with a home or you know this could have had something to do with someone's stability here but i feel like someone's leaving something behind what is the four ones in the reverse ten of swords some sort of betrayal, some sort of disappointment. 
All right, the Ten of Swords talks about somebody who backstabbed you, betrayed you. And what did I say the Nine of Wands is? Someone who has been through a lot. It's almost like a daily battle, one thing after the other. But uh, the greatest thing is, like I said, someone here is not going to allow that to hold them back and give up. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck with a page with the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Three of Wands. I don't know if someone here paid for a reading, okay? But it could just be that maybe this person is thinking about gifting you something here. I feel like, I don't know why I want to say that, um, Virgos. I don't know if you said something to this person with the Queen of Swords energy. Um, but maybe you help somebody to see something clearly. So maybe you gave somebody some sort of wise counsel here. Or someone could be seeing the bigger picture about an air sign. Wow. Okay, they scared me. <laughs> that scared me. Maybe you gave somebody some sort um maybe someone is seeing the truth about an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, and a Gemini. There could be some sort of arguments or something going on here. Hmm. I don't know why I'm hearing the word ambush. Okay. All right, spirit. <laughs> Sorry, the birds just distracted me completely. Um... I don't know, maybe this is, this is how this person felt about this situation, that something distracted them or something was an illusion or something was a fantasy or something like that here. Okay. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about the soulmates. Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. Virgos who are dealing with a soulmate. And one more. Oh, okay. From the deck, you do have love language. It says quality time. It says be the witness to each other's lives. Ah. And then you have you are worthy. It says your worth doesn't depend on the other person. Yeah, spirit soul path. So the cards that I'm seeing, it says it landed on the star card, okay? So it says rekindle. It says an old flame returns. You have love languages, physical touch. It says a tender touch means so much. I'm also hearing for some of you, your soulmate could be a fire sign. Is also what I'm hearing, okay? You have fearless love. It says a courageous leap into the unknown. Yeah, this is what this situation is going to take. So that full card would definitely have to turn the other way here, all right? You have memento. It says a gift from someone special. And I did say that someone could want to gift you with that six of pentacles energy that was coming out. Show me more. About the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. Give me three cards. Okay. Yeah, see, we have healing heart at the bottom of the deck. It says healing heartbreak. It says toxicity or addiction. It says abusive relationship. But we do have the devil in the reverse. Yes, and right behind it, we have separation. But again, I do feel like whoever this is, whatever the separation is, you know, there is some sort of pain here. It says sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you. And it says uncertain of future. Or this is someone who is in some sort of sadness because they are in separation from you. But the cards that we have coming out, we have the passion card came out in the reverse, okay? Um, and in the upright, it says insane chemistry. It says sparks. It says having fun. It says equal interest and burning desire. I feel like for some of you, this person may be worried that maybe you don't feel the same about them. We have the coughing card, okay? Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
but it says new beginnings, it says liberation, it says reborn, transition, it says tragic endings, or some may have ended something with a Scorpio, take it how it resonates. But the death card, it also just talks about, you know, that death and rebirth, right? That growth, that spiritual transformation. Maybe someone here has gone through the dark night of the soul. And then look what we have coming out the other end. It says paradise, it says happiness and joy, it says playfulness, it says enjoying each other, it says the honeymoon phase. Hmm. Okay. Show me more. Virgos that are dealing with a soulmate. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Virgos, so we have, now the first one I'm seeing here, it says, I can't make you happy. And maybe that is why the passion came out in the reverse. Okay, this is really not going to be for everyone. Cross watcher, whether this is you Virgo, please do not get upset. Okay, but there may be someone here who maybe has some sort of issues when it comes to intimacy. I'm not going to say that. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. You also have, I don't want to be alone. You have, if I could go back in time, I would. It says, it says, if I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. You have, people don't believe in me. And you have, my life is a mess right now. It says, why is it that you love me? And that's funny because I was going to say when I, um, with, People don't believe in me. I was going to say, maybe this is someone who's realizing that you did believe in them, Virgos. You have, yeah, look, what do you see in me? I don't like odd, I don't like that odd number. I mean, give me one more. Thank you. So you have, I can't take it anymore. Hmm. Spirit, give me a few more cards for my Virgos that are dealing with a soulmate. What is the energy here? Oh, we have paradise coming out twice. Yeah, I'm hearing that song again. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us, you and I. Yeah, but you see, someone here, you, I could be, um, this could be a masculine's energy because I'm seeing girl with a snake, um, seeing hammer, and then I'm seeing the separation energy. So again, like I said, if someone has been through something where it's kind of hurt their heart, this may be someone who is afraid to kind of go into anything again, right? It'd be that energy of, hey, I don't ever want to feel like that again. I just don't see that Virgos, that you would do this to this person, but... We have the Grim Reaper. It says the relationship is over. It says no second chances. It says grow and transform your life. So again, this energy, we already have the coughing card out here. So heavy Scorpio energy coming up. And then we have not enough. It says frustrated in a relationship. It says a lack of confidence, self-sabotage. It says fear, ego issues and jealousy. And then you have the Paradise card. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. It says enjoying each other. But I feel like that is only if this person can pull themselves out of this energy. Give me one card for the soulmates. Show me going forward. Show me going forward. It's number 18, which boils down to a nine. We already have the nine of wands out here. The wounded warrior, right? It says no need to fear. It says remember how powerful you are. Exactly. 
whoever that is from the past that hurt this person or you Virgos, it's that energy of stand up with the nine of wands and show them what your bounce back game is like. One card for the soulmate so I can move on to the twin flames. Thank you. We have, it says, stop. It says you need to get outside and soak in some fresh air. It says it says soak in some fresh energy before you do anything else. So again, we did have the hermit card come out, okay? So this could be someone. Like I said, it is the king card. So I could be talking about a masculine here. This person it feels like spirit saying, hey, you need to get outside, right? Rejoin the world here. Yeah, it's almost like I'm hearing that song. So I'm hearing fade away, fade away, fade away. So before you fade away. So we have, it says, okay, listen. It says one chance is okay. It says two chances is pushing it. It says, but three chances. It says, just know. It says, just know you're worth more. And it came in the reverse. So again, I don't know if this is about someone who gave somebody more chances than they deserved, right? And they, like I said, someone here with the Seven of Pentacles is reflecting back and thinking to themselves and, and looking at what it is they invested in and, you know, did it grow for them? Did it bear fruit? And it feels like there is a situation here where it didn't. But that doesn't mean that you give up. Just know that that situation, that person wasn't for you. Learn the lessons and move forward. Easy said than done? Yes. So, let me just see where we are for time. Okay, so let's move on to the Twin Flames. All right, Spirit, what do we have for the Twin Flames journey? My Virgos are on a twin flame journey. Oh, we have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Ah, one more. Yeah, free yourself at the bottom of the deck. It's time to take back control of your life. And then we have make the effort, express your love. Okay. Now, your other card coming out here, it says getting to know each other. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So is this somebody new? Or is this somebody wanting to come in and have some sort of conversation with you after they have released an ex? Now, it could be that maybe you release the ex and you're going to meet your twin flame here, okay? But what is this for my Virgos that are on a twin flame journey? Thank you, Spirit. So we have Six of Cups, which is like soulmate energy to me. But um, you could have children with this person. Maybe you've known this person since childhood. Or maybe um, it's that energy of, um, I'm hearing past life connection, obviously. Show me more. Maybe you just feel like um, this person is going to make you feel very like, um, it feels like that energy of playfulness, right? like light-hearted we have the knight of cups okay so we've got heavy water out here cancer pisces scorpio energy oh wheel of fortune with the two of cups and the empress for some of you you may go on to have a child with your twin flame or like i said maybe you already have a child with them what is the six of cups we have the nine of cups wish fulfillment And what is the Knight of Cups? Oh, <laughs> well, we have the Emperor in the reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries or Taurus. But usually the Emperor in the reverse is someone who overdoes their control, right? It's like an energy of abuse of power. Uh, this could be someone who's had some sort of fall from grace here. 
um, if damn, we'll see what clarifies the emperor in reverse because that's very much like a tyrant or narcissist energy. Or maybe this is just someone who isn't feeling in their power. What is the six of cups? Yeah, we've got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck with the five of wands, the ten of cups, seven of pentacles. I'm also picking up this energy of maybe somebody regretting listening to family or with the five of wands. This is someone if you've if this is somebody you know, right? It could be someone that maybe you've already put an end to this situation with the two fives energy at the bottom of the deck. Or well, this is someone who is very much in their emotions here um, about causing some sort of conflict between you and them. So what is a six of cups? Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. Oh, the magician. Okay. So we've got Virgo and Gemini energy. What is the magician? The ten of swords. And the world card. Seven of Cups and the Strength card. Virgos, for some of you, your twin flame may have gone against you somehow, right? Ten of Swords, that betrayal energy, stabbing you in your back. This definitely could be representing some sort of magic here with the Magician. Or, like I said, maybe with the Emperor in Reverse, this is someone who tried to overdo their control in a situation. They tried to manipulate something here. For some of you with the World card at the bottom of the deck, right? Um, this could have been someone who tried to end something for you. This could have been someone who maybe created some sort of confusion or illusions here. Or, I don't know, the Seven of Cups could be representing that. Maybe they were the um, delusional one, right? Yeah, I can hear the birds in the background. Absolutely. Okay. So, but I, I feel like this may be also somebody who underestimated your strength. What is the Magician and the Ten of Swords? The Hermit. Show me more. The King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the Hermit with the King of Wands? And we have an Ace of Cups. What is the Ace of Cups? Because I'm hearing for some of you, this may be someone who likes to throw stones and hide their hands. What is the Ace of Cups? The devil. Two of cups. <laughs> it, it's making me feel like this could have been someone who maybe paid somebody to do something. What is the ace of cups and the devil? I saw the page of pentacles. Two of swords. So what's the ace of cups? Because that talks about love. Maybe this is someone who tried to block you from moving on. Finding new love. They could have tried to block you from having self-love here. What is this? Queen of Cups. There's someone here may have tried to block your intuition as well. But for others of you, I feel like... This is someone who is now at some sort of a crossroads. They could be obsessed with you here, right? With the um, devil coming out here. Again, you know, the emperor and the devil energy with the magician, it does give me narcissistic vibes. But this may be someone who now behind the scenes, they want to come towards you, but I don't know, with that two of swords. Now, a queen of cups did come out here. So again, for some of you, that this may be someone who, I don't know, has somebody else. Or maybe they chose somebody else over you. Yeah, look at that part of the deck on the death card. Scorpio energy with the Queen of Cups. And look at that, King of Cups. Is this someone who is married? <laughs> or they desire you, right? They may have, like I said, some hidden emotions here. But I don't know if you ghosted this person with the Hermit energy coming out here. It could also be saying that this may be someone who has, um, again, you know, taken some sort of time out to do some sort of introspection. What is the Nine of Cups? Ten of Pentacles. Five of Wands is wanting to show its face. And, and the Five of Cups again. 
Do you know what it making me feel like, Virgos? I feel like this is someone who is in some sort of regret here. I don't know if you're just in a good space, right, with the Nine of Cups. It's almost like your wishes and dreams are coming true. You could be financially stable with the Ten of Pentacles energy, right? This makes me feel like long-term happiness. And this is someone who... If they chose a third party over you, that situation looks like it has crumbled, okay, with the cups in the reverse. And they're regretting that they missed out on a two of cups energy here at the top. What is a knight of cups? My brothers are dealing with a twin flame. Two of wands. And we have the seven of swords. Uh, with a king of swords. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Liar, Cheat, a Thief. That could, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini with a King of Swords. But I also feel like for some of you, whoever this is, they may be thinking about telling you some sort of truth about some sort of deception. What is the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords? Page of Pentacles. Two of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords? Ace of Cups. Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. Oh, and there's that Queen of Cups again. I don't know if they, I don't know if this is about a child with a page of pentacles, okay? There's a five of pentacles energy out here, somebody being left out in the cold. Like I said, if they chose somebody over you, I feel like that situation may have come to an end. Maybe they chose a thief over you, right? Maybe they chose someone who lies or steals over you. But whoever or whatever the situation is, they regret it. Two of wands, trying to make a decision. Give me one card. I feel like it's trying to make a decision about coming to make you this offer with the Knight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Hmm. For some of you, I, there's this energy here where, what is the Eight of Cups? Because this may be someone who is realizing that you may have actually left the building here. It could even be with the Eight of Cups energy where maybe you just don't feel the same about this person. Maybe you don't have any emotions anymore. What is the Eight of Cups? Virgos, no, okay, don't worry about that. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know, maybe you're not willing to give to this situation. What is this? Ace of Swords, maybe because you know some sort of truth or you receive some sort of clarity about this person. And the Chariot, yeah, moving forward. What's the Six of Pentacles and the Chariot? The World card, yeah. For some of you, your twin flame may even need some sort of financial help from you or they're in a, a sticky financial situation. What is the Emperor in the reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Because now that sun is going to start doing weird stuff. What is the Emperor in the reverse? Yeah, hold on, guys. All right, let's see if that works. No. <laughs> what is the emperor in the reverse? Thank you, spirit, so I can end out this reading. What is the emperor in the reverse? You have the three of pentacles in the reverse. And you have the judgment in the reverse. Oh, give me one more. Yeah, five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, I was I, I was picking this energy up maybe, I don't know, a few weeks ago or, I don't know, last year, towards the end of the year, where for some of you, it, it feels like with the judgment in the reverse and the three of pentacles in the reverse, with the emperor in the reverse, five of swords at the bottom of the deck here. 
Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. It's almost like this contract has been, it's like void. Almost like the spirit has, or the angels have called some sort of final judgment that there will be no teamwork here or building with this person, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And it could be because of some sort of action that they took. Give me one more. Judgment in the reverse with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, coming out sideways is the Ace of Cups. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What is the Ace of Cups coming out sideways for the Judgment and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse? Thank you, Spirit. The Fool card. It's almost like Spirit is saying to me that for some of you, that they're sending you in another direction here. You're going on another journey. Um, it's almost like maybe a missed opportunity. And then... And then also the full card can talk about, you know, somebody maybe feeling foolish about something. Yeah, look at that. Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Tower, Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Okay. Give me three cards for the Twin Flames. Thank you, Spirit. That's really annoying me. All right, Virgos, I have to apologize. I don't know why the lighting is doing that. Hopefully you guys just got your headphones in and you're not actually looking at the screen. <laughs> but um, let's see if we can finish this. All right. Three cards for the Twin Flames. Yeah, this is annoying. Hold on. All right, spirit. Three cards for the twin flames. And two more. Thank you. Thank you. Now at the bottom of the deck, we do have psychic connection. It says your communication goes beyond mere words. So maybe you, you can read this person very well. You have bonding. It says as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. And you also have best friend. It says friendship is vital to your romance feelings deeper. And it says blossoms. Okay. So your three cards that are coming out. You have burning desire, but it was in the reverse. It says flames of passion ignite. So again, like I said, maybe... For some of my Virgos, you no longer feel the same about this person. You have unexpected connection. It says opposites attract. Someone could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like, is that Virgo's opposite? You have marriage. It says wedding bells are ringing. So again, I did say, I don't know if this person is married or if that's what they want to tell you. Or, you know, maybe you had, maybe you was married to this person in a past life. Three cards for the Twin Flames. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the snake. It says competition. It says an enemy. It says the other woman. It says look over your shoulder. Yeah, look at that wedding rings of not today. I don't know. <laughs> so, the first card coming out, it says... Yes, it says the phoenix, it says new phase, rekindle, it says renew and growth, it says changed mind, it says rise from the ashes. You have ascending, it says learning and expansion, it says transcending, it says preparing for union, it says new phase. I'm telling you, I feel like this is, some of you, you, you may have had, it could be like that energy, I don't even want to say a false twin, I feel like this is maybe a twin flame that sabotage this relationship and i feel like it was to the point of no return here okay it says sabotage and rebuild it says persistent working on it and it says repairing all right give me three cards or what is the energy for the twin flames because i okay 
It says, I long for your kiss. You have, will you leave me, will you leave me like the others? You have, I'm afraid to lose you. You have, coming in the reverse, it says, I can't come to you now. Maybe they can come to you now, but again, maybe it's too late. Oh, we have drugs and alcohol. So this definitely could be someone who has some sort of addictions here. You have, I can't talk to you right now, but again, it's coming in the reverse. Anything else from this deck? It says, life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. It says, I miss your light. Two more. Thank you. We have, I want out at the bottom of the deck, and it says, I cry at night. And then you have drama. And then you have, why do I feel so lost? Could have chose a karmic over you. So it says, why do I feel this way? And then coming in the reverse, it says, I wish I could be a different person. Why did it come in the reverse? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Give me three cards. There goes dealing with a twin flame. Thank you. Yeah, we've got addictions at the bottom of the deck. It says codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. It says has a block. It says restraint. Yeah, you've got the runner, self-indulgence. This could be someone um, that, you know, when they get into like a sticky situation, they may turn to alcohol or drugs, right? Um, they may run off and they may use that as an excuse to indulge in those things. So what am I seeing? So we have, oh, Virgos. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So we've got healthy choices. It says making healthy choices in love and life. It says self-love, self-care. It says being happier. You may feel happier um, being separated from this person. We have date. What did I say? It says meeting someone new. It says dating. Get back out there. It says plan set a date. You have paradise, it says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, it says oneness, it says enjoying each other. Oh, and then you have abundance, it says keep a positive mindset, it says manifest exactly what you want, it says gratitude and bliss. I'm telling you, I feel like spirit is going to be bringing somebody else in here for you. Now give me a card for going forward. You have never jam today and it's a number 35 which makes me think of the eight of wands so again this is an energy of going forward and this never jam today do you know what it's making me think of it's making me think of do you know what i'm not getting stuck in this situation again it says promises that never come to be it says empty words it says not living in the now for some of you who were attached to a twin flame who cannot release the past Okay, one card to end this for my Virgos that are dealing with a twin flame. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Number seven, sevens can be warnings. It says, damn it. It says, stop doubting your high ass vibrational self right now. It says, you deserve this incredible energy. It says, soak it up. Hmm. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to take that. Maybe you're too high vibrational for this person. Like I said, the sevens are warnings. Give me one more and then I'm going to end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get one more for the twin flames? Five. Fives talks about change. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Maybe you're too high vibrational for this person. It says, mm, I don't know, Maybe with that knight of cups, right? this person may try to come in and, I don't know, love bomb you somehow or 
But it says, mm, it says what you're thinking is correct. It says, don't doubt yourself. It's almost like, like I said, with all these healthy choices, abundance, this dating and paradise spirit is saying that you deserve something better. Maybe this is an energy of don't go back to the past. So cross watcher, if you're in here, you know, don't take it personal. Someone's name could be Monica. <laughs> but um, that is what I've picked up. Again, Virgos, I apologize for the lighting if it has been irritating to some of you. But um, this is what I have. If anything resonated, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light.